The Night Before Pugmas, as told by Doug the Pug. "'Twas the night before Pugmas, when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even Fiona. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that Santa Pug soon would be there. The animals were nestled, all snug in their beds, while visions of treaties danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief, and I in my cap, had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the roof there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutter and threw up the sash. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Pugilis came with a bound. He was covered in fur from his head to his paws, and his clothes were so cute that they made me say, Aww. Aww. His eyes, how they twinkled, his wrinkles, how many. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a wet cherry. His wrinkly little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. He had a broad face and a very round belly that shook when he barked like a bowl full of jelly. He spoke not a bark, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk. And laying his paw aside of his nose, A wag of his tail up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a bark. And away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight, Merry Pugmas to all and to all a good night.